Come on. Don't die on me, boy. I got you killed because I was scared. Obey. Oh, I got you killed on account of that cat. Yes, Are you hurt? No, sir. Obey just sung coon blood on me. Well, 
Well, give me them clothes as soon as you get them off before that stain sets. Yes, ma'am. Where is your dog, boy? He's out in the swamp. The old doggy, uh, he just run off. Well, don't worry about him. He's been lost a dozen times before, and he always comes home. Can I take this load of cotton over to Baker's Gin? Well, I'll take it to town for you, Paul. Lonnie, I figured you'd be out looking for your dog. I mean, old Bay's been gone five days now. It's Doc Manners. He's got a stranger with him. Well, here we are. Lonnie, ask him. I'm a hauling our new postmaster around here so he can meet all the folks. This here is Mr. Sherman Prather from Atlanta. Glad to have you with us, Mr. Prather. I work in Atlanta, but born and raised in Waycross. Coming home to the swamp, you might say. <laughs> Hi, your son. Sir. He's a rent in the old Martin place. He says he might be in the market for some likely hounds. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, Doc, what's new in town? What's the news? I'll tell you what's the news. Weak for the news, that's why. Oh, Doc, I don't want to talk any more about that cat. Your pa's so peaceable, he takes up for a killer cat, boy. Well, like it or not, Bascom, he's back. Lem Daniels was missing a show last Tuesday. Well, maybe he got lost. Well, we'll know pretty soon whether he got lost or not, because he raids about every three days when he's on the prowl. Well, he's been peaceful for some time, Doc. Now, why would he start up now? Maybe he's hurt. He don't have to be hurt. He's just a killer, that's all. Bonnie, where's your dog? Now, come on, answer me. What happened to him? He's dead. Bay's dead, Pa. That's the first time you've lied to me, son. You want to tell me the truth now? We were coon hunting. I was chasing Bay. Come out of the bush. There he was. It was Weakfoot. I tried to run, Pa. Well, it's only plain good sense, son. But you don't understand. I had a chance to kill Weakfoot. But I was too scared. What happened then, boy? Bay and Weakfoot started fighting. Got killed, kind of me. sister to Tom Stone. I don't reckon I know Tom Stone. He's about the most famous person around here. Shot a man dead right on Main Street. Then he ran off and hid in the swamp. 
Folks hunted him for years just for the reward. How long ago was that? Oh, about 15 or 16 years, I guess. Never find hiding or hair of him, but Ma keeps hoping. Get up! Whoa! Well, I'll be getting on now. Thank you very much for the ride. All righty, Mr. Prather. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shirley? Hello, Lonnie. I was sure sorry to hear about your dog. How'd you know about Bay? Lem Daniels passed Doc on his way in. Guess half the town knows by now. I figure the rest will by dark. You're gonna lose your place. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that team knows more about this town than any driver, including me. <laughs> Get out of my way. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Lonnie, but you got a habit of blocking people's way. I'm warning you, Bucky. Oh, now I ain't gonna tell him to quit pesting around my little sister again. I'm only your half-sister. I just want to talk about weak foot. Next time you go hunting that cat, Lonnie, how about let me and my brothers go along with you? I hear you ain't so good at it. I wasn't hunting them before, and I ain't hunting them now. Well, the way we heard it, the town did most of the fighting. Get out of here. <laughs> Lonnie was just showing me how old Weakfoot come at him. Yeah, come on, Fast. Come show us how you grab Weakfoot. Yeah, how was it? By the back of the tail, Lonnie. <laughs> and women do is fighting for them. Don't pay them no mind. I ain't gonna eat dirt from your brothers. But you can't take them all on. I figure I'm as good as any amount of landers any day. I didn't mean you. You're a girl. I better get back to the wagon. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's better to make two easy trips instead of one hard one, boy. Well, I was coming up from the barn anyhow. Thought I'd bring as much as I could. I want you to borrow Don Johnson's hounds come sun up. We're going hunting tomorrow. Carter lost a newborn calf today. You going after Weakfoot? Pa, you, you always said that... That cat's dangerous because he's wounded. And that's our responsibility, son.
Listen, son. Weak foot. That's our cat, all right. And look at that. There's no mistake in Weakfoot's paw print. But it don't make sense, son. I know it, Paul. The cat's going one way, and the hound's the other. Deer tracks. That's what them dumb hounds are chasing the deer. Just the way Weakfoot planned. You might as well go on home, son. Come back after them hounds tonight. They'll run all the way to the state line and back by then. I sure don't look forward to telling Don Johnson about his hounds, either. <coughs> Sounds like one of the hounds got separated. I'll get him, Pa. I'll drop him off at Johnson's on my way home. You find your way home? Yes, sir. You be careful. See you home. Here, boy. Where are you, hound? This gun's loaded, mister. Untie me, please. I'm hurting. Please untie me. Can't you talk? I know you can hear me. I... I... haven't talked... nobody... in... 16 years. Nobody. You mean you've been hiding way out here for 16 years? Like some ghost in the swamp? Nobody to talk to? 16.
Peter Stone. Tom Stone. I blame myself for letting him traipse that deep into the swamp alone. It's a fool thing to do, Doc. Fool thing. But we got more men, more hounds this morning. We'll pick up his scent for sure. Come on. Uh, Mr. Bascom? Curly? My brothers don't want to help, Mr. Bascom. But I do. Didn't know you had so many men. Oh, be a whole bunch more coming along today. Sure nice of you to come by. We just could use a hand in the kitchen. Sure, Mr. Bascom. I think it come from over yonder. Come from straight ahead of us. I just can't be sure. Too far away. Let's move. Something, let's go. Come on. Dog, 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 dog. Yeah. Well, thank you, boys, for helping me look for my son today. Those of you who can make it, we're gonna leave that sun up tomorrow. That must be the rest of them. Wait about giving up on you, boys. Louise, set some more plates over here. Oh, uh, we won't be staying for supper. Thank you kindly, man. We found something. Yeah, 
It's my boy's. Where did you find him? Down by the creek. If I promise not to tell you're here, will you let me go? I'll give my word on the Bible, will you? Will you? You tell. Not if I swore on it, I wouldn't. Word of honor. It'll make sense. You can't keep me here forever. You can't kill me. Doc and Prather and I will give this spot a good going over. The rest of you boys can split up the hound and cover as much ground as you can. You want me to bring the boat around? That'll be a help, Prather. Now, Doc, you want to get the hounds and go up the bank here? I'll go this way. Sorry to have to ask you this, Mr. Baskin. But we're gonna need Lonnie's shirt for the hounds. Sure, Clint. Thanks. It ain't been easy for your sister. Huh. Seems kind of funny calling Maul Anders somebody's sister. Ain't been easy, though. Marrying two husbands, running a farm, raising three sons and a daughter. But Ma's tough. Don't take sass. Pa says, when Maul Lanters hollers rabbit, every critter in the swamp jumps. <laughs> Farm ain't much. Some folks say boys do better moonshining. Ain't never been caught, though. Now, surely, she's as different from them as night from day. talking all day about run out. Well, I could sure use a glass of water. Talk. I told you everything I know. There ain't much happens down our way. I guess the town don't look much different from the way you remember it when you... Well, I mean, uh... Well, I guess it's changed a little bit. They got uh, automobiles up north in the cities. <sighs> and, uh, well, I've never seen them, but, uh, but I've seen pictures. And they've got moving pictures they call them Nickelodeons. Mr. Prather told me all about them. <laughs> like we're the first ones here this morning. Well, there won't be any others, Doc, uh, this morning or any other. 
they done what they could. Well, I thought I'd just look in on Baskin. Uh... No, he's not here. Uh, and what he's doing is best done alone. He, uh, he took his cow horn and went into the swamp. Well, is there anything I can do, ma'am? No, thank you, Shirley. Would you excuse me? Well, I'll give you a ride on home, Shirley. That's all right. I'd rather walk, thank you. Doc? Hmm? What was Miss Bascom talking about? I mean, the cow horn? Well, you'll be hearing it soon, Shirley. Uh, well, a cow's horn is a, a sort of a voice. Uh, does a lot of things. Uh, a man can use it to to signal the end of day, or call his hounds in from the hunt when the sun goes down, or to say farewell. That's my pa saying goodbye.
kill a horse. Don't move. You stay put. I'll go get some hot water. We'll pack this with ashes. You run away, boy. Why didn't you kill me? Gotta eat. Why? Because I reckon you're gonna live. Folks are sure welcome over to my place for coffee. I think you kindly, Doc. I think I'm almost sit alone for a while. He was like this when my sister Lonnie's mother passed away. You remember that? Just sat there on chair all day long, withering away like a rootless plant. Then one day I took the baby to him, you know, all wrapped up in a little blanket. And I said, here. Now, if you can't find nothing in your own life to care about, you just think about yourself. This time, I got nothing to bring him. Beats me how you can live in this old ramshackle summer and winter. I got me another place. <laughs> Where? Kramer's Island. <laughs> Kramer's Island? Oh, that's... That's mostly quicksand and, and gators and moccasins. Play. Oh, that's... It's easy to get lost in. Most folks stay away from it. <clears throat> Whereabouts on Kramer's Island? Come on, come on, play, play. I'm gonna have to go back home, you know. I gave my word of honor. I won't tell. No Bascom ever broke his solemn word, Pa says. And I ain't gonna be the first. Well, not only that, I... I'll bring you stuff. I, I'll bring it right here. How would you like to smell fresh ground coffee again? 
and use a hatchet and cook from a real pan. And that's a promise, too. Come on, play. <laughs> We've been playing all day. I guess I just don't feel so good. when we hear what we want to hear. Sick. I know he's sick, Louise. Well, here now, you got something hot inside you. You get a chill, I ain't gonna help you boy now. Louise, you uh, best fix up a spare bed for me. I'm gonna be here a while, I expect. Thanks. It's swamp fever. Bad, all that exposure. Is he gonna be all right? Well, he's young, he's strong. We don't need no miracle to cure him, but... I could sure use some luck. You've already had the miracle, Doc. It's getting him back. You know what gets me is where's the boy been all this time? I'm not going to ask. Tell us when he's ready. We're just thankful he's home. In his own bed. Well, I'm going to be thankful when that fever breaks. We'll know soon enough. Ah! Ah! 
right here, son. Pa! Pa! I'm here, boy. There's nothing to be afraid of. Pa! 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 He's going to be all right. Now, will someone please get me a coffee? much less upon a bed. Well, I think we can make allowances this time, Louise. Don't you know a dog is the best medicine in the world for a boy? Shirley Landers. I'll go outside. Just hold on. Now, Doc, is it all right for him to leave the house? Well, I checked him over. He's fit as a fiddle. Well, in that case, if everything's all right, I want that hound off the bed. You're gonna be a legend, Lonnie Bascom. You know it. Everybody calling your name. My brothers are fit to be tied with jealousy. I gotta run now. Sit, sit. You ain't supposed to get up. I ain't exactly a cripple. Well, I guess I, I better be going. You leaving so soon, Shirley? Yes, ma'am. Shirley, looks like you're the best medicine in the county. Look at that boy. He's got lanterns in his eyes. Bye, Lonnie. Goodbye. Bye, Shirley. That was good of her to come and visit you. Yeah, she's a nice little girl. Little girl? Well, sure she is. She's real nice, real little. <laughs> <laughs> well, son, since you're up and about, I think it's about time you came for riding the wagon with me. Now, you know he's got to be in bed early. I don't want him to overdo. I'll have him back early. Bring shovel, son. Not too many people get to participate in their own funeral, son. Practically none, you might say. You mean they had a funeral for me? Well, they call it a memorial service. 
being you weren't available in person. Put your shovel down, son. Every day after services, I used to come out here and say my prayers. I think it's fit that you and I give thanks that my prayers were answered. Yes, sir. Landers. You know, I always wanted a marker for Tom Stone. Him being lost in the swamp like he was, Lonnie. Yes, ma'am. Folks wouldn't allow it. They said he was a murderer. Yes, Miss Landers, I remember that. You know as well as I do, Bascom, it was Malcolm who was gunning for Tom. He told everybody in town he'd kill him if he set foot there. Poor Tom was just defending himself. But it was Malcolm had the money, so they called it murder. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to bust in on you like this. I, I just wanted to say it's good to have you back, son. Thank you, ma'am. Go ahead, son. You're going to be the first man in these parts to dig up his own gravestone. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Bay. That old man's still alive. This is the one place he'll look. Come on, boy. Where'd you go, Lonnie? I had trouble following you. Well, you weren't supposed to. Well, who are you calling? You know, it sounded like... I was just out training my dog. He ain't swamp broke. How come you're out here? What, do you want to get gator bit or snake bit? I have an invite for you. You do? Well, Ma says she obliged to have you over for supper. Well, that's nice of your Ma. Oh, <laughs> it's nothing special. Just you're welcome to come and eat what we got. I'd like that. Truly would. <laughs> <laughs> Lonnie, you're going to have to carry me across. 
across. What? Well, I got my new shoes on. Come on, lift me up. <laughs> Lonnie, did you ever kiss a girl? You keep talking like that, you're gonna end up in the creek. <laughs> folks I like. If a man's teased, he knows he's liked. A lot. this food. Many thanks. Amen. Just a minute, just one blessed minute. Well, I must have told you 20 times not to let that hog under this table before supper. Now, you just get him out of here. Come on. You boys act like you had no upbringing at all. Lonnie, you'll have to forgive him. It's not very often that we have company over for dinner. Horton, get the door. Okay, Ma. Lonnie, you just move out of the way. Yes, ma'am, it sure is. I especially enjoy these biscuits. Nice and light. That takes a lot of doing, ma'am. The really hard part is getting them just so and keeping them hot without burning them. What I meant to say. Real good, Ma Landers. Thank you, Lonnie. There you go, Digger. Hey, Lonnie. Seems like you ain't hankering to talk much about that swamp. Big Bob Bucky and me, we was just kind of wondering, uh, what'd you eat? I caught possums. Whatever. Raw? No, I had me a fire. I kept it going. Did you ever see Weakfoot? Just once. Well, nobody ever stayed outside the swamp that long before. Except maybe old Tom Stone. Bucky, <laughs> now you just keep your mouth shut. I don't want to hear any talk about my brother from any of you. Naturally, don't go far. We've got a church meeting tonight. I won't, Ma. Say, uh, where do you two think you're going? Never mind, Bucky. Hey, let's watch what they're doing. Yeah, okay, come on. Go around. What's stuck in their cross? Oh, we just got in a fight tonight about you coming over. I guess they just don't want to see their little sister grow up. Lonnie, sit beside me. Yeah. 
Your ma still grieves for her brother, don't she? Yeah. It makes her sick to remember. It's hard on her. Not knowing whether he lived or died in the swamp or... or if he run off someplace. Guess not knowing's the hardest part. Shirley, you better get cleaned up for the meeting tonight. You know, Lonnie Bascom, you're the first stranger we've had to dinner, as long as any of us can remember. We aim to make it the last. We don't like folks nosing around our place. Or fooling with our sister. You ain't crossing this bridge, Lonnie. The lesson you promised us, you ain't accepting no more dinner invites. Or any other kind of invites. Got that? I'm crossing. And I ain't making any promises. Come here, Bascom. <laughs> To you, boy. Nothing, Paul. Lonnie. Those three lander boys were working him over under the bridge. All three of them? Well, that just don't seem fair to me. Now, Louise is at a church meeting. I'd be obliged if you'd stay here until she gets back. You stay here, will you? Will you? Well, looky here. Looks like Tad Lamani run home to his paw. <laughs> I don't interfere in my boys' fights. But when there's three on one, I aim to do something about it. Think you can do any better, Baskin? <laughs> you responsible. You men, you gang up with my boy one more time, and I'm gonna knock your head off. You hear me? Yeah. Thanks, Doc. I guess you boys are gonna have to tell Collins his next shipment's gonna be a little late. Bay! Bay, come back here! Bay! Bay, you don't come back here. I ain't taking you with me next time. Can you hear me?
Now, how come you didn't come when I called? Dogs that don't mind end up bitter worse. Next time I come out, I'll let you sit at home and let you think about that. Come on. Come on. this any better than you do, but you've got to learn to mind, Bay. I just don't want to lose you. And I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> Tom Stone! He went to town. I snuck away. Oh, I was figuring to come over and see you. It's not time yet, Lonnie. It takes folks longer to cool down than rile up. Well, I ain't afraid of your brothers. Everybody knows that. I just don't want to have to choose between you and my family for no reason. Where you been? Hunting. <laughs> Without the dog? What you got in that sack? Nothing. Lonnie, you never told me what really happened in the swamp. I told you. You're taking things to somebody out there. I know it. I heard you calling their name. Gotta let my dog loose. Lonnie, why can't you tell me? Look, Shirley, do me a favor. I want you to forget all about this. It's important.
weak foot. Top stone! Top stone! another place. Where? Kramer's Island. Come on, boy. We're going to Kramer's Island. Never found his way back from the island. I aim to see we do. Mr. Stone? Tom Stone! Sandboy. I was hoping you'd come, boy. I found Weakfoot's tracks back at the camp and your knife. Try to steal the food you left me. And to pour. For 
about that big cat. Hand to paw. <laughs> You better not talk. I'd like to have killed him. Put that away. I'll find you something to eat. Tough to get off. Hold on a cat. His teeth don't get you. His claws will. <laughs> I better have a look. I can't. You've been wearing it too long. I said, I want you to keep it. Keep it. Still got to take it back. Gotta get you a doctor. You owe it to Mom Landers, your sister, waiting all these years without knowing. I felt real bad not telling her. Well, I ain't gonna sit here and let you die. I'll get help as quick as I can. You wasted your time, boy. Well, Tom ain't never going back. I'll hurry. Come on, babe. It's been too late for a long time. You've been sitting right here against this log. Same, Paul. I know it, son. And I guess old Tom knew it, too. What did he say to you before you left? That he wouldn't come back ever. Must have been awful. Living out here by himself all that time. It'd have been hard for him to go back, Shirley. I guess for your uncle. Worst things are dying. Mom, I think you have something to say to Ma Landers. We best be going. to get him to the preacher to baptize him. I put it around his neck when he stepped out of the water dripping wet. He never took it off. Leastwise, not that I know of. He wanted you to have it. He asked about me, you say? Yes, ma'am. He was interested in everything about you. A million questions. Uh, Mrs. Landers, if you like, I'll talk to the town committee about uh, 
Tom's uh, grave marker. I don't think there'll be any problem. Well, I don't know. He don't seem important now. Tom didn't want to come back. He wanted to stay out there. So that's where his marker should be. Out on Kramer's Island. I'd be glad to take it out there for you, ma'am. Oh, Lonnie. You're a good boy. I'd be so proud to have you to suffer tonight. We'd all be proud, Lon. We'd all be proud. Over here, Lonnie. I've been waiting for you. I want to go to Kramer's Island with you to help with the marker. What'd your ma say? She don't know yet, but I figure if we both ask her. Get on home, Bay, like I told you. Go on. <laughs> Shirley, I've got to get my gun. here from the other day. More peaceful. I'm glad I came back.
What you looking for, Lonnie? Nothing. I guess it's just I ain't coming back here anymore.